right, guys. Uh, let's talk about some notable stuff. We're, we're focusing a lot on the negative. Let's look yeah. at some positive. Yeah. Let's look at some positive, yeah, shall we? Yeah, because at the end of the day, we did go, what, four and three this week? We went four and three right, this right. week. The Toronto Blue Jays. We did exactly, I think I predicted four and three. Not the exact games, mm -hmm. for sure. Uh, but yeah, four and three. That's what we expected. That's what we do. Right. Right. That's all we had to we do. We do four and three for the rest of the year. We'll oh, be a playoff team. We're a playoff team, baby. Yeah. Exactly. And some notable players. Vlad kind of slowed down near the end, but you gotta shut up, Vlad's three homer night. Yeah, I mean, like incredible. he actually single-handedly willed us to win that game. Yeah. And I was yeah. watching that game, and Cole was pitching good, guys. He, he was. was pitching good. He only gave up four hits. Three of them was to Vladimir Guerrero Jr., mm -hmm, and two mm -hmm. of those went yard. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, Vlad absolutely <laughs> willed us to win that ball game. So he should have, like, plus one war mm -hmm. single-handedly because of that game right there. So right. absolutely shout out to Guerrero. Yeah, it, it was it was Vladdy's show. And, you know, that whole series at New York, mm. the hitting was a bit of a concern. Well, yeah. it was weird because, like, that game was just Vlad. That game was just Vlad. And then there was, like, I think it was one or two other games in there where it was, like, just nothing. The game before was that we won was... um. Or no, it was like the first game on Monday was just Springer and Espinal. And like yeah, two, yeah. Yeah. Like that was just it. And then the other games that we got shut out. The other two games we got shut out. Which is, you don't like to see, guys. No. Shut out is the worst. Absolutely. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, hopefully the guys are going to turn it around. We can all kind of get going at the same time right now. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. Uh, another big shout out to the Lourdes Guriel yes, Jr. Yes. He's picking it up right now. Not, yeah, literally. Pray the Lord. Pray the Lord. Not hitting for a whole lot of power right now, but absolutely getting it done with yeah. the average. Yeah. If it wasn't for Zach Collins, who we're going to get to, yeah, yeah. the Lord would have the best average on the team right now. I think he's got a 306 batting average. That's pretty damn yeah. nice right now for Lord Scurry LG. And just specifically this week, he's got nine hits and 24 at-bats. Two, two RBIs, and this is huge. Six runs scored. Six runs hey. scored for batting in that fifth, in that four, four spot. Or five spot. That means the bottom lineup stepped up, They're which doing is our good. boy Zach Collins. Which is our boy Zach Collins down there, who we were absolutely all over oh, in yeah. a podcast earlier oh, yeah, this week. We <laughs> um, opinions completely shifted at this point. Yeah. yeah. I, now, I'll be honest. Not I don't, super shifted. I don't but, expect you know I mean. this to be a long term solution or anything right, like that. Right. I'm not a Zach Collins like big fan anymore exactly. now. Uh, you know what I mean? But I mean with Danny Jansen hurt, with Kirk starting slow, if you want to hit three seventy five or whatever the hell yeah. you're hitting right now. Like he went six for sixteen this week with a homer, three RBIs. Yeah, it's like if like, you want to do that, okay. We don't need to trade for Jan Gomes or whoever else right, we need to go right. out and get. You know, That's it's like it. we don't need to bring up Gabriel Moreno because we have Zach Collins hitting yeah. 300. And that's a great example for everything, guys. Like, I know we can overreact. We've done a lot of overreacting on this show because it is a show. It's for mm -hmm. fun. But hey, look, something could develop that we don't even see. It's yeah. still early April. Very early. Very early, <coughs> Literally. guys. Literally. You know I mean, like last year, remember Yerman Mercedes? Yeah. The catcher on the White Sox? Yeah. He was, if you just want to do that, be like for a month and a half, just yeah. be like one of the best players in baseball. Yes. Great. Bring us back Danny Jansen. Everything's fine. Easy, easy, easy. Mm -hmm. And on the pitching side of things, one guy that like we love, we got to shout him out. He's yeah. right over there in the backdrop. Alec Manoa. Very nice. You know, Very nice. In, after coming off a series of the Texas Rangers where we didn't get any starting pitching, Alec Manoa gave us exactly what we needed from starting pitching mm -hmm. in his two starts. He both, I think, he got, yeah, he got the W in both games. Yep. Two, 12 innings pitch, only two earned run. That's an ERA of 150 and 13 strikeouts. That's just awesome. Yeah, man. He looks like the real deal. He's and real. even today, guys. His velocity was a tick down. He was making a few mistakes too. Like there was some stuff over the heart of the plate. Doesn't matter. It I mean, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter because it's like it's just the level of talent that he's already at. Like when he's on, it's six shutout. Yeah. You know. And when yeah. he's off, okay, it's six two earned runs. Yeah. You know. Literally. Like, literally. And, and what I love, I want to point this out too, right? I think what I'm really seeing in Alec Manoa is that he's he's leaving the ball arm side a lot, and he kind of tails off, goes up uh -huh. and in on the righties. But he's made that adjustment already. Was like, oh, when I don't have my best stuff at least when my ball when I'm missing could still be an effective pitcher on the hands right because what he's done is now he's standing a little bit more on the left side of the rubber yeah and now if he misses it's becoming a competitive pitch that yeah. could maybe get some swing and miss yes, stuff. Yes, exactly. He's exactly. a good player when yeah. he doesn't have his stuff. Yeah, absolutely, dude. So, I mean, Alec Manoa is 100% the real deal. And once we re-sign Bo Bichette and Vladimir Guerrero Jr., if that does become the case, like, you better believe, like, the next conversation is going to be extension talks for Alec yes. Manoa. Because, like... 
I do believe this guy, before it's all said and done, like there's going to be a few all-stars, and maybe if he has a great season, potentially Cy Young Could in that career. Cy Young, so, man. Who knows? Very, very close. Yeah. Um, but this gives a nice transition because we talked about all these great players mm-hmm, mm-hmm. For, the, for the Blue Jays, and uh, there's one player we haven't mentioned. We were just about to get into the most coveted of awards, and YouTube felt jealous that we're not giving it to them, and this player <laughs> was so bloody good last week. That he crashed the entire internet. So, it's time for the Jay of the Week! Yes, it is time for the Jay of the Week! Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Yes, Jordan Romano is our Jay of the Week! Shout out, Jordan Romano! Yes, 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 yes. yes. Love me some Jordan Romano. Now, Nick, you tell me. Tell me about Jordan Romano. It was so it was good this next... week, guys. It was so elite. We had four wins this past week of baseball when Jordan Romano was critical every single goddamn one of them. Picking up a save in every single one of those ball games. Zero is the ERA right now. The record of Blue Jays' consecutive saves without a blown save has continued to rise. I don't even know what it's at it's right 28, now. It's 28, I think. 28, it's could amazing. be 29 after today. I don't even know. It's pretty damn good. He is now leading the league in saves. Six of them, mm-hmm. four of them coming from this past week. There is no way that we would have been able to do what we did this past week had Jordan Romano not come in and been elite. I'm hey, so yeah. happy. We could have blown one of those that we games. Have. A, a mm. literal elite at the back end, right? Yes, now. yes, yeah. He won over Vlad. No, a lot of people are questioning. Vlad only hit 222 this week. He had that one three homer game, and that was it. Yeah, that was it. Yes, like, Vlad. Vlad did have an exceptional, exceptional game, game, and it is 100 needs to be talked about. Yep. We, Alec Manoa yep. also had an exceptional week too. But guys, literally, there is no better thing that Jordan Romano could have done. If there's any time that a that a closer is going to win Jay of the Week, it has to be this it week. It has to because be. he just actually could not have done any better than what he did. Literally, if there was reliever of the week or reliever of the month, he's making his case for it oh, right yeah. now. Oh he's yeah, oh yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent.